few days ago, uh, Thomas Hodd uh, put up a post uh, regarding the uh, CPC Poetry Contest. Now, it gives a uh, long list of uh, 33 poets who have uh, made uh, the long list round. And Hodd started off the conversation by remarking that there didn't seem to be anybody from uh, the East Coast. But in the comments thread below, uh, the conversation soon segued into a discussion of gender. And Shane Nielsen, also a poet, uh, remarked, this is in terms of, uh, Shane Nielsen is, is from the East Coast, uh, quote, I'd have to look closely. And then Nielsen continues, what's immediately jumping out at me is the heavy skew of female presenting faces. It's really striking, what with the very high number of short listees. I know many of the poets on this list and even love some of their work, but what happened? Is this statistically probable? End of quote. Now, by my count, there are uh, 29 out of uh, 33 who are uh, female. And uh, the, uh, the discussion on, uh, in the thread uh, continues with, with people uh, really trying to emphasize that they're uh, not upset about this, but they're, they're noticing it. However, it's impossible not to uh, notice as well a certain degree of anxiety on the part of uh, the male writers. And, um, of course, uh, there's a female writer who remarks that uh, it used to be a gender balance that worked the other way in favor of men. Now, all this got me uh, to uh, thinking about a remark that was made recently uh, by the writer John McFetridge about how uh, publishing works, literary publishing. And apparently one rule of thumb that publishers use these days is that it is women between the ages of, of 30 and uh, 65 who buy books. And they are the target market now for, for books. I'm assuming this is for literary fiction. I know at least two, possibly three people involved in publishing, male, who uh, focus uh, exclusively on nonfiction. So there does seem to be sort of a, a division that's happening along gender lines in terms of fiction and nonfiction. But uh, in any event, uh, anecdotally, I've noticed that even though I read, and I know many men who read, uh, it is uh, the female acquaintances I have who do the most book buying. For example, in our household, I buy books, but they are very frequently uh, secondhand books. I buy a lot of history, big fat history books, and uh, they're very expensive, brand new. So if I can pick one up secondhand, I, I will. Sugi, on the other hand, buys at least three books a month, I'd say, maybe more. And she buys new books. She goes down to one of the, uh, the big bookstores in Samsung Dong or uh, Guangwomun and picks up, uh, picks up these books. Now, Korean books tend to be priced uh, a little more reasonably, in my opinion, than uh, books sold in, uh, in Canada. Uh, nevertheless, uh, even so, uh, she is a, uh, a very uh, supportive book buyer in, in terms of uh, what's produced by the Korean uh, publishing industry. And uh, if it is the case that, that women are becoming the uh, hegemonic dom dominant audience for, uh, uh, for literary books, that raises several questions which I think need to be discussed. Traditionally, of course, in the arts, uh, male hegemony was, was uh, the case, and that is uh, what uh, one of the uh, commentators in Thomas Hodd's thread, Alison Atkinson, is, is referring back to. Uh, so, uh, I suppose that from point of view of a lot of female writers, it used to be uh, the time of men, and now uh, it's only fair that it's the time of women. But I, I think as well that there's something going on that relates to, uh, to media. Uh, for example, I make a lot of uh, film. I make a lot of uh, video poems and so forth. And in that world, uh, even though it is also a literary world, uh, the uh, gender divisions are, uh, are quite different, or rather the gender balances, I should say. And, uh, of course, in feature filmmaking, in movie making for drama and so forth, uh, it's a notoriously, uh, uh, now this is, of, you know, th these dramas, the point that I'm trying to underline is these dramas are also works of fiction. 
but in movie form, uh, this is a notoriously uh, male, uh, male-dominated field in which uh, female directors complain quite frequently about uh, the uh, degree to which it is hard for uh, female filmmakers to uh, sort of break in or get equal amounts of attention. All these things are sort of going on at once. And uh, to sort of circle back to the whole issue of Canadian letters and literary publishing within Canada, I have noticed uh, thematically that, uh, for example, with uh, a thousand page uh, manuscript, a social novel about contemporary Canada, and with another novel manuscript set during World War II about soldiers fighting in World War II, that there is a uh, blanket, what seems to me almost blanket disinterest in uh, these, these themes in uh, uh, Canadian publishing. And uh, for, want of the better, for want of a better word, I mean, these are sort of somewhat masculine theme. So uh, what exactly is going on here right now in Canlit at the present moment in terms of uh, gender balance and the way publishers view the situation? I think that's a discussion worth having. <laughs> <laughs>